the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, uh, we offer all our intentions in this celebration of the Mass. We offer all thanksgiving for all the blessings that we have received from the Lord, not just from the start of this pilgrimage, but for the many times that we have received from the Lord. And therefore, we um, now are celebrating this Mass with the votive Mass of the, our Blessed Mother, Queen of Peace, because our Lady of Panama uh, has always uh, requested everyone to pray for peace and end of war and violence. And so therefore, we make this our intention for today. For the many times that we have neglected God's command to love one another and to show our charity towards one another, let us now ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you, 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 you preside and concede for us in the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, you sent your only Son to bring peace to our world. Through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, hear our earnest prayer. Grant that our times may be tranquil, so that we may live in peace as one family, united in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Remember the good news that I carry. Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, sprang from the race of David. It is on account of this time that I have my own hardships to bear, even to being chained like a criminal. But they cannot chain up God's news. So I bear it all for the sake of those who are chosen, so that in the end, they, that they may have the salvation that is in Christ Jesus and the eternal glory that comes with it. Here is a saying that you can rely on. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. If we disown him, then he will disown us. We may be unfaithful, but he is always faithful, for he cannot disown his own self. Remind them of this and tell them in the name of God that there is to be no wrangling about words. All that this ever achieves is the destruction of those who are listening. Do all you can to present yourself in front of God as a man who has come through his trials and a man who has no cause to be ashamed of his life's work and has kept a straight course with the message of the truth. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truths and teach me, for you are God my Savior. 
Lord, make me know your ways. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. Response, Lord, make me know your ways. His ways are faithfulness and love for those who keep his covenant and will. The Lord's friendship is for those who revere him. To them, he reveals his covenant. Response, Lord, make me know your ways. A child is born to us, a son is given to us. His name will be Prince of Peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him. Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, this is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well spoken, master. What you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. This is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. We are blessed to have Father David Charter to uh, join us in the celebration of the Mass. Um, he's from the United Kingdom, but he's doing his ministry in Colombia with the um, Vatican, Vatican Diplomatic Corps. So we thank his presence in our midst today. Dear friends, our Blessed Mother, during the Annunciation, became the first and only human being, perhaps, and almost for sure, in the whole hum human history, to be the Mother of God. In that event, in the Annunciation, her yes, fiat voluntas tua, may your will be done, made possible our salvation when she conceived our Lord and Savior. By that one, yes, by a 15-year-old girl in our times who'd be playing dolls, but for our Blessed Mother had that responsibility and that great response to our Lord became the Mother of God. In the year 425, Christians were still discussing whether was Mary the Mother of God or Mary the Mother of the human Jesus. And in that council at Chalcedon, they decided, no, Mary is the mother of God. There's, there's only one person in the second brother, second person of the divine trinity, and that is the son of God. So Mary become Theotokos in Greek, mother of God. Mary is the only human being who can claim that before her and after her. The only human person who can lay claim to that, 
because he said, she said yes to God. And yet, St. Augustine, 1,700 years ago, St. Augustine, a doctor of the church, a learned man of the church, proclaims, Mary is more blessed as a disciple of her son than being his mother. Now, take a moment. I just said that Mary has that singular, particular, specific, quality of being the mother of God. No one before her, no one after her. And yet, St. Augustine says, she is more blessed as a disciple than being the mother. Now, we cannot connect with Mary. We cannot relate to Mary if she's above the clouds, if, if she's somebody whom we cannot follow because she is the only human being with that kind of, of quality, characteristic description. But we can relate to her as a disciple. Because she leads her son's disciple back to our Lord. St. Louis Marie de Montfort has a theme. He says, Adiesum per Mariam, to Jesus through Mary. And we go to Jesus through Mary through her example of discipleship. When, when Jesus is asked, Oh, your mother and your brothers and sisters are here. And Jesus says, who are my mother, who are my brother, who are my sisters? Those who follow my word is my mother and my brother and my sister. Well, guess what? We can follow the word of the Lord. And we become his mother and his brother and his sister. Jesus says in the gospel today, If you love the Lord your God, you must love your fellow sister, your fellow brother. For the first time, from the writings of the Old, Old Testament scriptures, the Hebrew scriptures, up to Jesus' time, never was that put on the same level. Before Jesus, they thought, you could get to the Lord, you can get to heaven by just following the law and just disregarding your fellow human beings. Jesus says, no, nah, uh-uh. You see the sick? You tend to the sick, you tend to me. You see a hungry person, you see a poor person, you see a homeless person, you see someone in prison who's someone oppressed, you treat them well, you treat me. And that is why we can be the disciples of the Lord, like our blessed mother. We may not be the mother of God like our blessed mother, but we can be the disciples of the Lord. If we put love of God on the same level as love, of fellow human beings. And then, like we can say in the response of the Psalm, Lord, teach us your ways. And then, this is the way to Jesus. Ad yesum. And per Mariam, because our blessed mother shows us the way back to her son. In this regard, we can be like our blessed mother. We can then reach Jesus through the example of of discipleship, the model of discipleship of our Blessed Mother. In the Vatican II, in the 1960s, when the bishops and the Pope were discussing, should we have a special statement, a special declaration of our Blessed Mother, the church fathers, the church bishops said, no, what we say about our Blessed Mother must be said within the context of the church so that the declaration about Mary was made in the declaration about who the church is. Because Mary is part of the church. Mary is part of us. Mary is our model of discipleship. And today, as Our Lady of Fatima, the Queen of Peace, we now have our way to Jesus, the way of peace and love. God bless you. Dear friends, we pray to God, the Almighty Father, who gave the world through Mary, his only son, as Savior and Prince of Peace. that the Holy Church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, 
receive from God abundance of that peace which Jesus Christ brought into the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the efforts of all people of goodwill in promoting peace and fraternal harmony be blessed and crowned with success, and that the entire world may experience that great gift of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That international institutions foster the search for peace among peoples, and that weapons of death be transformed into instruments of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That rich nations and their governments, overcoming the temptation of power and superiority, rectify injustices towards poor nations, and help the many who are hungry and in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peoples who suffer because of war may once again find the gift of peace and concord that our deceased brothers and sisters share the eternal joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this assembly, united in celebration of these sacred mysteries, be found worthy to greet one another in peace and be true messengers and servants of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, almighty and eternal, you look with benevolence on every person. Grant to all peoples of the world the grace to discover in the gospel message him who was born and came to the world as Prince of Peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, and human hands have made will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And contract hearts. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, as we lovingly venerate Blessed Mary, ever virgin as Queen of Peace, we offer you the sacrifice of reconciliation. Be pleased with our offering and grant us your gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. As we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She is your lowly handmaid, receiving your word from the angel Gabriel and conceiving in her virginal womb the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, our Lord and your Son. She is the faithful mother, standing fearless beside the cross as her Son sheds his blood for our salvation and reconciles all things to himself in peace. She is the disciple, the model of discipleship of Christ and daughter of peace, joining in prayer with the apostles as she awaits your promised gift, the spirit of unity and peace, of love and joy. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, till you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, the members of our families and communities who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence in the Father, and the words our Savior himself taught us. Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, Father. God bless you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, this is Jesus, son of Mary, the Lamb of God who grants us life and love. Blessed are we are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. You should enter and die. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, in this memorial of the Blessed Mary, Queen of Peace, you have nourished us with the body and blood of your only Son. Send upon us the spirit of love, that we may build up in our world the peace which he himself left to us. Through Christ our Lord. So again, we thank Father David for joining us and uh, his group and ministry. Uh, we thank you all for joining us at Mass as well. And may you have a blessed day, the rest of the day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May I ask Father David to come here and uh, bless you all. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Se eu não precisar, este livro tem oração eucarística.